Alexander checks behind the portrait. Alexander pulls the nail out of the wall and keeps it. Alexander finds the hallway door unlocked and slips inside. Alexander wiggles the nail in the trunk's lock until he hears a click. Alexander opens the trunk. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul Alhazred from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, and you shall have your crown. That fiend! The wardrobe is full of black cloaks and a rather sour smell. Alexander examines the clothes, but finds nothing of interest. Alexander hears the muffled sound of crying coming from the back hallway. The crying is louder here. It seems to be coming from the doorway on the north wall. Hello? Is there someone in there? Who... who's there? Kasima, is that you? It's Alexander! Alexander? Prince Alexander? I... I don't believe you. It is Alexander, Kasima. I sailed here to see you, and the ship sank and... Kasima, just tell me what to do. How can I help you? Do you want me to get you out of there? If you really are, Alexander, please, please, you must get away from here. There are guards everywhere, and the Wazir would have you killed if he found you here. But what about you? I can't just leave you locked up like this. The only way out for me is to stop the Wazir. See what you can do out there. In the meantime, I should be safe enough. He hasn't harmed me... yet. Besides, if I can get my hands on something with which to defend myself, I'm pretty sure I'll get a chance to use it. The Wazir feels safe around me. No one else can get that close. You're so brave, Princess. But it's too dangerous. Have you forgotten where we met? What is Abdul compared to Mordak? I'll be fine. Now go! Alexander hesitates. I'll do as you say. I will find some way to help you, Kasima. I swear it. I believe you, Alexander. Please, be careful. Kasima, take this small dagger. It's not much, but perhaps it will prove useful to you. Oh, thank you, Alexander. I'm sure it will help. Alexander hears the guards approaching from the stairs. Alexander puts the nail back into the wall. Alexander puts the heavy portrait back on the wall. If you didn't have the brain of a cat wolf, you'd have known that mechanical nightingale wasn't Kazima's nightingale. I was all for staying on patrol, but you wanted to show that thing to Saladin. Well, at least the captain wasn't too mad. He's a good honest dog, Saladin is. I er, wish the same could be said for our... Hush! 
Do you want to be dazzled, you fool? Somewhere nearby, a door opens. <clears throat> Greeting, Shamir, sir. A petulant voice snaps a response at the guards. The wedding is about to begin. Make sure everything is secure. Yes, sir. Footsteps retreat down the hall towards the back hallway. Alexander hears the distant sounds of chains rattling. A door opens. There's a small commotion and a woman's sharp cry. Kasima! Gradually, the sounds fade away off to the east. All is silent. If it weren't for him being the wizard's page and all, I'd have something to say about that. Grr. Grr. Wonder where he's taking her. The wedding's the other way. You never know with that one. He's always showing up when he shouldn't be and going where he oughtn't. Let's go check it out. The guard dogs seem to have stopped at the back hallway. From downstairs, Alexander hears the first wafting strains of music. Hmm, it's beautiful music. It's wedding music! Alexander looks cautiously around the grand hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. The wedding music is coming from behind those two large doors. You must be the foreigner the wazir warned me about. I've standing orders to kill you on sight. I'll give you five seconds to explain what you're doing here. I warn you, it had better be good. Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Saladin reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. Mm, this is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about our Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the wizir. Especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy. Even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. Then see for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 